Hey YouTubers, welcome back. So I thought I'd do, this is going to be a little bit of an odd one. Um, I'm, I've am i been doing a little bit of work, fixing my computer, playing around with it, trying to make it a little bit faster. Um, trying to stave off the actual upgrade, which I really need to do. And I've come across a couple of four plus year old videos. Uh, one there that sort of, you know, almost brought a tear to my eye. Looking at where I come from and where I am now. So I thought I would re-edit that one. Do a real quick edit, upload it and share it so you, anybody who's new can, you know, see what it was like back in the day without trudging through 600 plus videos. So tubers, thank you very much for tuning in and I hope you like this little blast from the past. G'day tubers. So the better part of this didn't like my Vegemite video. You know what? I had a blast making it. And I was certainly hope in the next few days it all becomes clear. Um, read the... anyways. So, as a lot of you know I like my 18650 stuff but I guess a lot of you don't actually look through my history of my videos and stuff on here. And I have an absolute passion for um, motorbike riding. I don't do it much anymore. Um, I'm scared of coming off, if I should be honest. Um, I have a tendency of pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing until I find my limit. And, you know, I end up on the wrong side of the, you know, the wheels. But, you know, that aside, I also like me solar. Um, I've always liked me solar, I've enjoyed it for many, many years. So I don't think it's got much to do with saving the world or anything like that, it's just simply something to do. So, um, and it's saving money, except you spend more than you save, so I don't know. But on that, I don't. if any of you haven't looked at my previous videos about the solar and stuff, go back and have a look at a few of the old ones. This will make sense. But this here, is what got me into, well, Jay who got me into doing the, the 18650s, but this here got me into doing solar itself. Um, let me go a bit closer. Now, this has now been running, and there's spiders and ants and everything. Let's see if we can throw that up there somehow. So all this has been running now for a year. Um, now, I've had small problems with it. Um, you'll find that most of the small problems have been my fault. Um, trying to save money, not doing things right, things like that. The actual equipment itself, um, and I'll see if I can get you set up over here so I can talk and look at the same time. So the actual equipment itself, it's sort of close to what I am reusing on this next project. I got a PIP2424 MS, no, this is the HS, PIP2424 HS. So this one doesn't have the MPPT charge controller in it. But a lot of people have said, you know, they're Taiwanese devices, they're, they're cheap and they're crap. But you know what? That thing there has given me about seven kilowatt hours on average it does vary seven kilowatt hours for the last year year and a bit without a fault um, it only runs at night time so up there I'm assuming that you can see that big red thing on the wall that is my SMA grid tie inverter though that's got 24 solar panels that's just the standard Aussie thing in Australia um, so that runs my house all night and all this runs my house at night time. So I got a, it's actually a relatively new laptop, little Samsung. Um, one of these little thin things and everything's breaking on it because it gets so hot. And the battery's swollen up, go figure, huh? Um, <laughs> the battery's swollen up this laptop, but it's been cracked, the screen's cracked and it costs more to get the, the screen fixed than it does. To, repl to replace the laptop and obviously the battery's gone in it as well by the feel of that. Um, 
So the only problem I've had with this whole thing is this laptop, because, well, laptops aren't designed to be run 24-7, are they? Um, so I've gone through two laptops out here. They're all dead useless second-hand pieces of crap anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so basically that runs my house at night time, give me seven kilowatts. And this one here is a, what's that one, sports fans? I've forgotten what the name of it is, PCM60X. They're both MPP solar units and they both work. This one here, I like. It, um, when I had the PWM on this one, it was shit out. So I was only getting four kilowatts a day from the batteries. As soon as I went to that, it goes to float by like one o'clock. Um, now, interestingly enough, the technology that's within this is inside of that on the new one I got in the shed, the PCM60. No. Hahaha. <laughs> What is it? Um, the PIP 2424MSX. So, th this one here is the older one. This one I've had for about a year and a half and I only got it done after about a year. Um, so, it's about time that I actually um, did something a little bit more permanent than a, you know, a bit of wood with some tin thrown across it. So the old wife is giving me permission. Now I'm no handyman, I'm not very good with um, building shit, so this is gonna take me some time. But I'm gonna make a lean-to off the, off the house, down to the fence, and so, sort of the full length of this side of my house. So I'm gonna make a, a shed, I guess. Um, and then that way I can actually bring that inverter and the, um, and those lithium-ion batteries, 18650 cells, and actually mount them along the walls out here. Um, so there's a degree of separation. Um, I'm not gonna have anything in the shed other than the batteries. I can give it two entries, one at either end, um, fire extinguishers and everything else to try and make it safe. I am concerned about it. Um, but uh, concerned is a good thing. I don't want to be paranoid about it because some of the paranoid comments that I've gotten is just makes you wonder how these people sleep at night. If they're so worried about these little things, the, the, the one in one million things, they wouldn't get in a car and drive to work. They wouldn't, fuck, they wouldn't turn their gas stuff, oven on in front, inside the house just in case it got a leak and just in case. Give up with your negative shit, guys. And there's only two people with negative shit, but fuck. But anyways, so what I'm gonna do today, because I haven't looked at this for a year, um, I haven't pulled any of these batteries out or anything. So I'm gonna pull all the batteries out, and unfortunately, with the way I designed it, I put those batteries, where is my finger? Those batteries on top, and of course, these boards aren't screwed down but I can't get to the batteries underneath. And this being Australia, there's redbacks all underneath there. So I've got to, I've got to, got to pull all that out and I'm gonna just voltage, all the batteries are all dead second-hand things. They're 880, 890 odd amp hours of batteries, but I only get seven kilowatt out of them every night. So they're pretty much at the end of their life. They were second-hand when I got them. I got them given to me. So all these batteries, will end up being replaced by the 18650. A point to mention about this time of the video is one, the wife's still a problem. And two, these batteries were only just replaced out at the farm. And that inverter, four years later, guess what? It's still running. Um, that PCM60X is still down in my um, power shed running to this day. So that's not bad. Let's get back to it and continue. If you made it that far, how about you, you know, drop a comment or something below, uh, consider joining Patreon, or just leave a thumbs. It really does help the channel. I do appreciate it. Let's continue on. I don't know how long this goes for, but it's still cool watching it over again. Jeez. Now, there are some exciting news on the 18650s. Um, I did what a lot of you guys do and you find my number and call me, which is kind of creepy when you do it at nine o'clock at night, guys. Um, but I found a 
what I believe, and I haven't seen the stockpile yet, but literally thousands and thousands of laptop batteries that somebody's willing to sell me. Thousands. Um, it hasn't been seen and it hasn't been confirmed, but I am a little bit excited. Um, I might be able to source some cost-effective cells for everybody. Um, I will make this much money, but I'm a hooker. I go to work, I get, and then I get paid, like everyone else in the world. Um, so if this little deal turns out, I might have enough to do a 50 or 100 kilowatt bloody um, Tesla Powerwall if I keep all the cells for myself, which I doubt, because they're going to be a lot of money, because I'm going to have to spend a lot of money to get all of them at a good price. But there you go. That's a little update. Sorry about the Vegemite thing. If you've got any questions about this, ask away or I can always or ask me the question below and I might do a video on it or something like that but it's um this whole system costs two grand that's uh, what's that nine panels nine one ninety watt panels cabling conduit disconnects all the legal fuses um, the rack mount with the, the, the adjustable legs um, batteries inverter charge controller um, fuse box, all of the wiring, uh, even the laptops included in that price. So it can be done and it can be done quite well. Uh, in the last 12 months I've only made, oh shit I worked it out the other day, about $480. I haven't made it, I've saved it. So these batteries have made me $480 or saved me $480. So there's the, the there's no way that these pieces of equipment are going to last four years to actually get a return on my investment. So that's why I say it's just not worth doing this in some cases, especially not when you're doing it cheap. But I love it. It's it's absolutely fantastic. It's good fun. I get to interact with these guys. Um, yeah, so that's how it is. Any questions about this lot, let me know. Um, how I set it up, how I wired it. There's all, there's 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 documentate. There's a lot of documentation on this, including wiring diagrams and the fuses and where I got stuff and how long it took me to do it. So I'll leave it with you, YouTube. And this is the fourth time I've signed off. I'm gonna go back and make my second Vegemite video, just because you all love the first one. Um, and I'll catch you on the next one, probably next weekend. Cheers. Well, that kind of sucks. I think I found the performance issue. That battery there is at 5.92 volts. And that one there is 6.75 and all the rest are closely around that. So I've got a dead battery I've got to contend with. Oh, well, I've got a couple more spares, so I'll go and grab it, bring it out and see what we come up with.